here we go again. More format changes for Major League Fishing. Uh. So before I get started, if you can do me a favor, click that subscribe and like button. It really does help the channel. I have a goal and I'm not reaching it and I need to either ask or beg or do whatever, but I really would appreciate if you could hit that subscribe and like button for me. Now to start off, I'm not gonna give you my opinion on what's going on till afterwards. If you didn't, if you don't know, Major League Fishing and the Bass Pro Tour are changing things up again. What? We're gonna talk about the 2024 season on what they're gonna do, and then we'll go into what is even a little bit more different, the 2025 season. To start off, years ago, several years ago, Major League Fishing decided to break off and, and start their own competitive fishing trail. And really, 80 anglers left bass, or 60, 70, 80, whatever it is, I don't know the exact number right off the top of my head, left bass to go do Major League Fishing. And then there's other anglers that have had their legendary exemption or an exemption that allow them allowed them back into the elites. Some had to qualify, Christy and Hackney and uh, Brian and Palinick and, and Gerald Swindle are just a few of the anglers that have left Major League Fishing to go to bass. And there's many reasons why. It could be financial. It could be that they prefer what's going on at Bass over Major League Fishing because when the split happened, there were a lot of unhappy anglers with Bass. And have they changed? Yes. Are they still technically the same? Kind of, sort of. But for whatever reason, people needed to decide which one they wanted to go with. You have Kevin Van Dam and you have Jacob Wheeler and some of the best top 10 anglers still fish major league fishing other than KVD is retiring this year. And you have some great anglers on, on bass, the Johnston brothers and John Cox. And oh my gosh, the, the list goes on and on, but they made the change and now they live with it. But the problem is, is year after year, there's some sort of format change to major league fishing. Something always changes. It seems like, and as a fan and as an, someone who really enjoys watching professional fishing online, it becomes a little tiresome in that you you really don't know what is gonna happen year after year. There's no consistency to what's happening. And while bass has stayed the same with even staying at the same suck ass places that they go to, Major League Fishing has always tried to do things a little bit different. We've had every fish counts to this year was five the five biggest fish count. And that's gonna change. But next year, I got it all printed out and I'll read it. Next year for 2024, Major League Fishing is, first off, they're reinstating every fish counts. With bass, you catch your biggest five, you bring them across the stage, weigh them, and that's and that adds the drama. But Major League Fishing did that this year, but is going back to what they first started, where every fish counts. What they're saying, scoring on the Bass, Tur Bass Pro Tour will return to every fish counts format in 2024. After scoring every angler's five biggest bass per day in 2023, the change to recapture the excitement and pressure of the tournament, the ch this change will recapture the excitement and pressure of the tour's original format. And I quote, we responded in 2023 to fans and anglers who wanted to see five fish scoring how five fish scoring would work on our score tracker live leaderboard. Unfortunately, viewership growth was stagnant. The Bass Pro Tour thrives on intense competition and the scoring change affected the tour's competitiveness in an unexpected way. By reinstating the every fish count scoring structure and having fewer anglers in the knockout rounds, pros will no longer be able to let their guard down without risk of being overtaken by someone's, someone climbing score tracker. Now, I don't know how I feel about this. When, when I first started doing that, when I first, when we first heard about that five fish, I kind of liked it because it's what we're used to. But then I realized as I watched Major League Fishing this year, I really didn't like it. And I know it might be just me and me. And you can, by all means, comment below and tell me what you think. But I think the reinstating is a good thing. But again, how many changes do we have to make? Let's do it one way or do it the other way and just stick with it and leave it as is. 
stop making these constant changes. That's where I think the confusion is. And I think as Major League Fishing isn't taking into effect the people that are watching it. If you're making changes after changes, year after year, you're gonna lose some of the loyal fans because it's just become too confusing at this point in time. And that's where, that's where I think it's not level. In addition to the scoring change, the format for each Bass Pro Tour event in 24 will be adjusted. There'll be 40 anglers in Group A that will compete on days one and three, and 40 anglers in Group B will compete on days two and four. Only the top 10 anglers from each group based on the two-day two -day heaviest cumulative weight will advance to the knockout round, day five. Weights will be zeroed for the knockout round, and the top anglers will advance to the championship round. That's kind of what I felt like has happened already, but maybe I'm wrong. And then they'll, they'll use those two-day cumulative weights to name the champion. And in 2025, really, Major League Fishing is really changing it up. In 2025, the Bass Pro Field will feature an all-star roster of 50 anglers comprised of the top 35 pros from the 2024 Bass Pro Lifetime Angler of the Year AOI standings and the top 10 anglers from the 2024 Bass Pro Single Year standings that did not qualify via the top 35 AOI standings. And then they're gonna take five from the Tackle Warehouse Invitationals from 2024. Each regular season 2025 bass event will be of four days with every angler competing in the first two days. The top 20 anglers based on their two day cumulative weight will advance to the knockout round in day three and weights will be reset in the knockout round and the top 10 anglers will advance to the championship round on day four. Winners will be determined by the heaviest cumulative weight from the knockout and championships rounds. That I, I kind of like. My, my problem with that one is is 50 anglers isn't very many. Is it an all-star campaign? Yes, there's a bunch of anglers on Major League Fishing and bass that are in the elites and stuff that are not, they're not competing. They're out there uh, wasting sponsorship money and doing things differently. I'm honestly not a fan of those guys that just are always on the bottom. No offense to them but they're not competitive. I don't think they should be in the most competitive field with a group of anglers. I think there should be like a, a major league fishing or a, not major league fishing, MLB. And then you have your triple A, which is most of the time the opens or the invitationals, but make those guys earn their way up into that. That's what I really like about the opens. I, I'll say it right now. The opens are the most competitive group of anglers there is. That's not taking anything against the elites or anybody else, but 225 boats and that possibly could be in a tournament where you get guys that are just going to fish that local event you're going against locals really says something to how competitive that field is and how tough it is to make it in that field or, or to win. Now, what Major League Fishing is doing is it's eliminating 20 or 30 anglers that now either have to fish the invitationals or they have to go fish the opens and hope that they can re-qualify for the leads. So while I don't, I'm not sure that that is the correct format for Major League Fishing is to tighten it because I do think that it's going to make other anglers move on to the leads. And I think that even makes the bass group even stronger. But having an all-star field where you're getting the best of the best sounds really good. Again, it's another format change that just confuses everything. But they're also making some other, uh, other things in 2025. Each stage on the 2025 Bass Pro Tour will pay $130,000 to the winner and $2,000 through 50th place. Red Crest will, will be the top sports award at $300,000 and $10,000 through the first 20 places and 5,000 up to last place. The heavy heat, hit, hitters feature is 100,000 for the win and big bass awards for each round, 25, 50, and 100,000. So the BPT is actually making, paying out or has the best sports payouts and the biggest media platform. I don't know if I agree with the media platform, but they have the best sports pay, payouts throughout all of them. And that's unbelievable, but you're compressing that field to so much. I think that, in my opinion, I said it just a few minutes ago, I think that compressing it actually makes the group of anglers that 
that leave or either go into the invitationals or they decide they're going to not deal with all of this stuff with MLF, that they go back to the opens. I think it only makes those undercards better for fishing. My other problem, slight now that I'm thinking about this, and I've only, I mean, literally, I just watched this and started, I read this and instantly came out and started filming this. My one kind of biggest issue is, is this, is this format change and all these changes that MLF is going to do, is that really growing the sport? If it's tougher for anglers to get to the highest level, which I think it should be, because I think only the best of the best should be in the elites and the, and the BPT. But are we eliminating some great anglers that just are going to go, do I want to really put up with this crap? That's, that's really something that needs to be looked at. I agree that the catch photo release is the way of the future. I do agree with it. Does it make less drama? Yes. The bass, the bass field is unbelievably strong. Unbelievably strong. And the five fish going across the stage adds the drama that we want. The opens are unbelievably, unbelievably competitive. And I think the opens are the best place to watch fishing. Now, they don't get the recognition that they get, and the payouts kind of suck on the, the opens, but the opens are tough. Now I think the bass, the BPT Invitationals or Tackle Warehouse Invitationals are going to be unbelievably packed with great anglers. And it'll be fun to see what happens. Again, Major League Fishing is making some drastic format changes. What do you think? I'd love to hear your comments and love to hear what you think. Are you watching bass over Major League Fishing? Are you so confused that you just don't want to deal with MLF stuff? That's what I want to know in the comments below. So comment below and tell me what you think. Remember, take a kid fishing, get your fish on. I know my throat's a little sore. It seems early in the morning, but it isn't. And I'm out in the kitchen. But I hope you guys have a great day. Cheers.